Now to Capitol Hill. So we avoided a government shutdown for now. But as you turn in for the night, members of Congress just called it a night themselves. They spent all day working on another vote. And then minutes ago, they called it off and went home. So you know how we do things here on the news at 11. We cut through the drama with some clarity. Here's the big picture. The House was supposed to vote on President Biden's one trillion dollar infrastructure bill. It was going to improve roads and bridges and tunnels, but Democrats are having a bit of a family feud. Progressives are threatening to kill that bill unless they get the promises they need that Congress will pass bigger social changes down the road. And now, you know, there is no vote happening tonight. So we're going to bring in Mike Valerio here. Mike, we're going to take a deep breath. We're going to explain why the Democrats are having this in fighting tonight, right. what was happening? Well, they are all on the same team, Leslie, as you mentioned, and this all bottom line comes down to trust. One side does not trust the other side, and that has made all the difference for this long road that we've been on. So what you need to know here is that there are two bills. One has a trillion dollars for roads, bridges, and tunnels. The second has $3.5 trillion for free childcare, free community college, and America's most ambitious climate plans, Ever. So the second bill here would be transformative. That's why it is so important for progressives. They say it reimagines this country and makes it easier for parents to work, people to go to school, and for the climate to be protected. But progressives don't know if that bill can become a reality. That's because Senators Joe Manchin here and Kristen Sinema have said it's too expensive and its changes are too big. So until the bill with childcare, college, and climate is secure, Progressives say they are not going to vote for this tonight. Roads, bridges, and tunnels are on hold. It just seems like we have more of this ahead. They have to get on the same page here. So we got $1 trillion for infrastructure. That's a lot of money. We're talking about money that could help streets here and support Metro and repair bridges. Bridges. I mean, this is stuff we all need. Right, absolutely. I mean, just the whole context of this bill, it would be historic. And I think the final point that we want to make here is that with no vote at the moment on roads, bridges, and tunnels, this is not the end of the road. This isn't the end of Biden's infrastructure push. The negotiations will keep going on. There was no official deadline, Leslie, to have this work done tonight. All right. This is the progressive saying they're not playing. This is what they want. They're going to hold out until they get it. They're trying to take a stand, but you know, they got to have a reality check at some point. This is the president's agenda. It needs to get done from their point of view at some point or else disaster next year. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll we see if they're able to compromise and have a bit of a growth mindset.